Hi, everybody, and welcome to our uh, next meeting. And today we are speaking on divine feminine and divine masculine and how to um, make small steps to achieve goals. And our amazing speaker, Anna, take it away. Hello, Hello ladies. I'm so happy you guys made it. Now, I was going, to, um, not I was going, I am going to talk about the different type of energies that everybody has, men, women, it doesn't matter. We all have three types of energies, actually. It's feminine, masculine, and sexual. But the most obvious ones are usually feminine and masculine. What does that mean? It doesn't mean, oh, I'm such a, you know, like such a girly girl. It means the feminine energy is all about self-care. It's about pleasure, playfulness. It's about adaptability, meaning to be able to flow and adapt. It's creativity, it's feelings, it's intuition and softness. I don't know about you ladies, but I lack some softness because I tend to operate from the masculine. What does masculine mean? It's getting shit done. It's tough. It's work. It's money. It's organizing. It's logic. It's protection, providing. It's, it's number one thing that I see in a lot of women today, especially single mothers or just single women who only have themselves to rely on, that they mostly operate from masculine because who's going to do it if it's not you, right? You're going to need to provide, you're going to need to pay for rent, you need to pay for everything and look pretty at the same time. So we don't really end up having energy left to do the pretty stuff. Now, why is it important? Because women are supposed to be operating from a feminine energy to stay feminine, to stay healthy mentally physically because what happens when it's not balanced we start to get aggressive we start to get irritated we're uninspired so we feel like we're stuck in our ways oh i wish i could do this and this but i, I just can't seem to get myself to do it or I'm so tired because I worked all day or I had all these things to do. And now I just, you know, I don't have time for this or I can't afford to buy this lotion or go to salon or whatever because I need the money to pay the bill. So you're kind of stuck in that vicious cycle of operating from a masculine. So you, you come off as aggressive, as somebody who's always on always got to do shit, got to do, got to get the stuff done, but I was always on the go. And um, there's a usually lack of self-care that's present. Like, uh, you know, since you don't have the funds or the time to go to a salon, you know, maybe your hair is out of shape or form or whatever. Maybe you don't regularly get a manicure or maybe your skin is dry and the more you look at yourself, the more you hate what you see, and then you get tired from that, and, and more anger arises. So that's what happens to a, a woman when she's constantly operating from a masculine. She has trouble uh, meeting men that she likes, keeps attracting weak ones that are, that are just um, too feminine. Or if she has a man and then he accuses her of being not feminine enough, which is something that I encountered in my uh, previous marriage. I was constantly um, accused of not being feminine enough. I wasn't sure what that meant. I mean, does that mean I'm supposed to be all cute and pretty and wear bows and dresses? What does that mean to be feminine enough? Feminine is usually softness and, and flow, like I said, and it's it's that loving energy that guides everything else. Basically, I don't know about you, but whenever I get too into masculine energy, I look at women who are cute and pink and flowers and all this. And I kind of despise them a little bit. But why is that? 
why is that that when you look at a woman who's all about looks and and all about that that the flow and you're like <laughs> like kind of like this is too much that's because there's an imbalance of feminine within yourself so what happens when it, it continues for a long period of time you start to get physically sick possibly something serious that starts with simple body aches uh, headaches uh, because you're constantly irritable and tired it could grow into a chronic uh, fatigue and then if you just keep ignoring the symptoms it eventually could turn into something potentially more dangerous for the body because there's an imbalance and okay what's the best way to balance it out like it's easier said than done right because for me who's a single mother I have to be the mom and the dad and I have to be the provider and I have to do all these things from chores to making money like doesn't seem realistic right because it's like go 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 do 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 well it's important to balance it out otherwise you're just gonna break down and nothing is gonna get done as a result right we're supposed to make drastic changes if we want to see drastic results right that's like the uh, oh my god i need to dedicate an hour of my time to just doing something for the feminine what is that drawing dancing singing something creative something that is going to engage your imagination um creativity you can cook uh, and dance at the same time you can paint if you know how to you can uh, bake things baking things and decorating them is an art of its own you can apply lotion daily like Ella is doing right now and that's self-care you can take baths you can go for walks be in nature and you can um practice receiving Okay, I can give you a li long list of things you can be doing, but I promised it to be effortless, right? In my message, I said, it's going to be effortless, guys, because, you know, because everything I listed so far, it's going to require time, dedication. It's going to require um, some sort of supplies, right? Money. And which is still going to get you into that masculine because oh, I'm going to work hard to make that money so I can buy paint and paint and be all feminine. No, because that's still masculine energy, <laughs> right? And we're kind of like, I promise that it will be effortless. What does that mean? It means small steps, tiny, 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 tiniest, tiniest of tiniest steps. First step is well what makes you think you're not feminine what makes you think you're not operating from feminine is it all the things that i listed that you're irritable that you're irritate you're actually irritating people around you not in a good way like you're not being all cute but you're just kind of aggressive so you're you know people you're pushing people away is it that are you not dressing feminine enough are you not taking care of yourself? The first step is to kind of like look at your life, look at yourself and be like, okay, well, am I feminine or am I not? What is the, how do I operate on a daily basis that will show me which energy I'm operating out of? You can put, put on makeup, but still feel like a dude because you feel like you're pretending to be a woman. You can put on a dress and not feel feminine you know, just because I'm supposed to go to this event and put on a dress and I'm going to feel like a fool the entire time and out of place and I'm just going to be like, uh, I tell you, you know, like that. Just kind of start by looking at what you have going on right now. Are you always on the go, go, go? Are you always tired? Do you feel like you're not taking care of yourself are you taking care of yourself do you have extra weight like look i gained a lot of weight and i'm like why is that anything that we do whether any habit that we have any 
any behavior that we have, whether it's for the good or it's self-destructive, it has a purpose, right? It has a purpose. So what do I do when I feel anxious? What are the things I do when I feel anxious? What are the things I do when I want to calm down? Anything we do serves a, a purpose of nurturing or protecting, comforting. This is where the tiniest of tiniest steps come in. After you've recognized whether you're operating from a feminine energy or you're still not sure what that means, feminine. Feminine is about play. Is about self care. Ciela is already doing it. She's already in the feminine energy. But then again, Ella operates from feminine energy most of the time. So let me ask you this: Do you find yourself constantly lacking money? Let's say you're, you know, like, I don't have enough money to buy this lotion that I'm like running out of, or, you know. So maybe this is where something that needs to happen something that needs to change and the change needs to be so small that you're not overwhelmed because every time we try to make a big change it's got it might last because it gives you dopamine you're like excited about this change and you like dive in and you start making all these uh, additions or revisions so i'm just start learning how to use makeup and i'm gonna do it every day and then after a week i'm like fuck it i'm too tired for this today you know because it's a big step. We burn out easily because dopamine just plummets. It might last a week, it might last two weeks. And and our, um, not the wheel, but like, a, what's the word I'm looking for when you try to make a, like a go on the diet and uh, you have to engage your, <laughs> I'm blanking on a word right now. What's it called? The Not the wheel, but the, um, <laughs> I, I blanked out on the word. Never mind. Anyway, it doesn't get engaged for a long period of time because we run out of those fumes, so to speak. Like it just, it just doesn't last unless you're so disciplined that you're just sticking to it. Most of us are not. Most of us are not. And besides, feminine is not about that discipline. It's about the flow. It's a soft energy that's supposed to guide you and everyone around you into a space where it's full of love and and unpositive vibes so the the habits that you have throughout the day or throughout your life just on a regular basis kind of have to just look at them what are your eating habits what are your what is it that you're mostly engaged in are you working all the time are you not working enough? Are you just playing all the time? What is it that you're doing on a daily basis? This is where the most work that you will do at the beginning, this is the most effort that's going to be put into the first steps. Just analyzing, just looking at, am I happy with what I'm seeing? And pick one thing, just one thing, that you'd like to improve, not change, not get rid of, just kind of improve at first. I'm not talking about smoking, okay? Smoking is bad for you. It's gonna kill you. It's gonna do this and this and that. Or, you know, like there's so many negative things about, let's say, smoking, but there's a reason why you're doing it. It's a nasty habit. It's a self-destructive uh, habit, but like, why are you doing it? You're trying to comfort and nurture yourself because you're anxious. So, but then it becomes a chemical habit. That's a little different. And that goes for anything you do throughout the day. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> We're talking about what is feminine, what is masculine. And uh, you as a single mother could probably relate to what I'm talking about when you have to do everything yourself and rely only on yourself to do everything and then you're exhausted and then you're kind of like in that vicious loop of of uh, a little bit of aggression so 
um, as I was saying, there's like the first step, the most difficult step that you'll do is to look at your at your life throughout the day, throughout the weeks, whatever you have going on right now. I'm sorry, I, I'm repeating myself, but I got to do it because Michelle just joined us. So look at what you have going on in your life today, just today. What you can even, the best way is to analyze it at the end of the day. What is it that I did today for myself? What is it that I've done today for others? Um, what's one thing I love? about myself today just one thing doesn't have to be a list you don't even have to write it down it would be great if you would write it down because if you do that daily you can look back at it and remind yourself and also maybe find a pattern of things so feminine the flow the creativity the softness softness is something that goes away as we're stuck in the masculine energy of of providing, of uh, cre of getting done, of protecting, especially of those of us with children. We don't have a choice, but it's important to balance it out. Otherwise, we're going to keep pushing people away. We're going to keep attracting weak men. We're going to be disappointed in everything and everyone because nobody measures up to the dude that's on the inside. Because the dude on the inside is way cooler than anybody around us. But nobody wants that. You don't, you know, at the end of the day, we need people. You want, a, you know, whether you want a guy or not, it's not even about romantic relationships. So let me tell you this. Let's go back a little bit, a tiny bit back to the feminine. Just for a second, because Michelle is here and I'd like to add something to the feminine. What does that look like? What does your feminine look like? Do you even know? Because you haven't been in it in such a long time that you might not even know what that is. You know, there's three types of feminine. There's femme fatale, which is that sexy fiery woman that gets whatever she wants you know with one look she'll freaking destroy there's the innocent that's like oh my god i need help can you please help me flashing eyelashes bloop, 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 butterfly and then there's the muse the muse that inspires that guides and ladies we're not talking about romantic relationships here. Sure, it's great to know for the relationships because, I mean, that's where you have to be feminine, right? Otherwise, the dude is going to get scared or is going to get all whiny and blah, blah. But I'm talking about every aspect of your life, whether it's in your business or talking to other people or anything. When you engage your feminine energy, it's 10 times stronger than masculine energy because it's it's a creative energy. It's an energy that engages everything else. You know, for those of you who have seen a movie, um, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, I love, the, uh, I love when the mom goes, you know, the man might be the, the head of the house, but the woman is the neck and it makes the head go anywhere she wants it to. Same thing here. That's the feminine that guides the masculine into action. But it's not just, oh, you know, praising. You're such a good whatever, whoever you're talking to, be it a child, be it a, a partner, be it a coworker, client, whatever. It's not about like, uh, giving out compliments and you know and just kind of like check 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 no it's about guiding that energy to inspire and most of the time that's what the muse does she she kind of sings that song that guides that energy into creation don't get me wrong all of these femme fatale innocent or muse they're all supposed to guide and inspire but just in different ways it might come off as a manipulation, like, oh, I'm just kind of, you know, 
be all cutesy and then like fly like a butterfly or whatever. And I'm going to get what I want from a man or from a boss or whatever. Yeah, if that's your intention behind it. But if you're trying to come out of a place of love, genuinely and not with an intent to oh i'm gonna ask for a raise and i'm gonna use my sexuality well, okay i mean if that's what rocks your boat cool if that's what you need to get done but i don't know that doesn't seem genuine and it's kind of ill purpose but whatever works for you so that's also one thing observe once the 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 way to kind of identify which one you are maybe you're a combination of things but usually it's it's one maybe two combination um just like i said analyze how you're handling your life like what is it that you do on a daily basis let's say you had a client meeting today how did you handle that how did you feel in that moment because feminine is all about the feelings were you comfortable were you relaxed? Were you confident? Because if you're not confident, it 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 activates the amygdala and you know like anxiety and scared and all that really really uh, uh, uncomfortable stuff. And then the masculine comes in to rescue. Okay, so we gotta first identify what that looks like. The best way is to kind of fantasize about it. Uh, daydream about it. Okay, what does that look like? Uh, what do you want it to look like? Does that feel natural to you when you imagine it? You know, because most of us, well, some of us here, that's not natural to be all cutesy and, 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 and playful and <laughs> giggly and all that stuff. No, because it's like, no, I don't have time for this. Um, so that's one thing because masculine is all about getting shit done and that's where we are used to being in the goal is to balance it out otherwise we're gonna get sick and it's gonna get bad eventually and we don't want it to get there now um, what are those tiny steps that I was talking about to get there because it is a lot of effort if you think about it Oh, I'm going to, you know, buy myself a dress that makes me feel confident and sexy. Okay, you wear it once, you wear it twice. Sure, you can, like, for example, I have a designated de uh, dress for dancing. But have I used it lately? No, because I don't feel like dancing. Because I've been working a little too much. So, what else can I do? Today, in this moment, right now. What is the tiniest, teeniest step I can take towards the feminine? And why do I keep bringing feminine? Because it's us women here. And mostly that's the energy that's going to help you feel more balanced. So what is the teeny tiny step that you can do today? Tiniest. Is it putting lotion on your hands like Ella did? Is it putting on makeup is it what is it and every time you feel even the tiniest resistance to whatever you chose that means that step is too big that means you need to take it even lower even smaller it all comes from self-love and actually wanting to make the change in your life so if you're not even there mentally to like, okay, well, I don't know. Am I balanced? Am I not balanced? Do I need to be balanced? Do I feel like I need to be balanced? I don't care about this. Obviously, you making all these steps might not even make a difference because if you're not, if you don't feel like you need the change, maybe you don't. Maybe you are balanced. Maybe you're feeling okay. But the most important thing, it's all about self-care right? So it's all about the self-care. Unfortunately, the tiniest steps require a lot of patience because they take longer for the results to show. So analyzing what's going on, 
asking questions like, well, you know, what is my feminine? What am I doing for myself? What's one thing? Like, pick a question and ask yourself until you get a clear answer. Because the first a few answers will be superficial. Okay, for example, what what is one thing I can do right now to, let's say, be more feminine once you've identified what that looks like? And your brain is going to go, wear a dress. Okay. I hate wearing dresses and you keep asking it and asking and asking until you get an answer that's actually not a superficial not like what everybody else expects you to do put on makeup smile more wear dresses you know that's like the most superficial thing a woman can do to be feminine something that resonates for you exactly something that resonates for you because oh you know whatever is the general idea might not be comfortable for you to begin with so no big bold actions no big bold actions nothing drastic just tiny the tiniest tiniest steps why is that why is that because we burn out because we're too busy because we don't have time for this shit or this is boring or this is not me this doesn't feel natural to me but when it's tiny it requires the least amount of effort and when there's no effort there's no fear of failure if there's no fear of failure there will be no shame you're not going to be ashamed that you didn't do enough that you didn't do um you know most what you want it to do the smaller the step the better it is does um and the goal and actually the most the more important part is to not take the shit too seriously play with it get curious get curious with yourself what else can i do try to come up with the creative like Okay, everybody has the same answer, you know, feminine stuff, dresses, whatever. Maybe your feminine is putting on a crown and dancing naked in the forest. Okay? Or maybe or maybe it's it's something childish. Who cares? Who cares? Who gives a shit what anybody else thinks? Okay. Something. What can I suggest for a kind of spark? Getting getting the feminine energy going. Look around in your house and see what you already have that you can use. Play with it. Get creative. Be like, oh, I don't know. Maybe um. Okay, maybe I'll just hang uh, my underwear from a ceiling. You know, just play with it. Just play with it. Play with it. And stop assuming. Stop assuming that somebody cares. If they see you, they're going to judge you. Stop assuming that this is the right way or this is the wrong way or whatever it is. Just stop assuming. Get creative. Get curious. That's what's important. And communicate with other women. It's a great thing we had this uh, chat, but now we have a whole group. Okay, now we have a whole group on Facebook. Check in, get maybe some ideas, ask questions, meet up with women as often as you can. Because being with other women, especially if um, if if that woman or these women um are more in tune with feminine you could get inspired just by hanging out with these people look at watch movies that are obviously showing that feminine either it's femme fatale where she's like all you know wearing all this leather and being all sexy and 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 you know knows exactly what she wants or hang out with ella who's always like this fairy and and little princess I know the suits 
That's a masculine energy, my love. No matter, no matter that Jessica wears those pretty dresses, although she is incredible, she's operating from masculine, my darling. That's not feminine. What makes her feminine are her outfits. That is incredible. Okay? But that whole show, I guess, but we don't know what she does on her off time, okay? Maybe she keeps working 24-7. That's masculine energy. But it's a good idea. That's kind of a good start. You know, if you watch the suits, she looks incredible in every single episode, the makeup, the outfits. But inside that that outfit is, is a dude, okay? So it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit, a little bit different. And give yourself rewards, please. Every time you do even the tiniest, you got off the bed, you got out of the bed. Hey, 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 let's get shit done. You didn't spend all day in bed crying and dwelling and doubting yourself. Yeah. Proud of yourself. If you, uh, the, you can write your thoughts down, your ideas down to track a pattern. You can record them as as audio notes, or if you have a friend, talk to them, especially if it's a woman friend. Feed off of each other's inspiration. Give each other ideas. Brainstorm together. Research things. Kind of like, you know what? Curiosity should be, it should be your number one goal. Curiosity. Just kind of like, what else can I do? That doesn't require your it doesn't require spending thousands of dollars or even a dollar, but it's, you know, it's going to make me happy right now, right this moment. The person having, having a person, I'm lucky to have a part in my person is right there. <laughs> Every time I do something, I send it. We can, we can all talk about confidence and whatnot, but let me tell you, we all need praise and we all need some sort of reassurance come on especially the ones that had parents that had inconsistent nurturing okay we all need some sort of out of girl to keep you going because you're you know if you're operating from masculine you're not going to do that for yourself you're just going to keep going and going and going until you're so freaking exhausted angry and irritated that you just fuck it just don't want to do it anymore okay I'm pretty sure Michelle doesn't give herself an out of girl. Do you? You gotta. You have to. You have to. Validation and support is important. Yes. Focus on small point on small moments. And make those moments as small as you can. You ate a little bit of something healthy today? Yes. Excellent. Yeah, exactly. You went for a walk, even if it's just down the street for whatever, and you stopped and you paid attention to your surroundings, meaning, you know, awareness. Great. You weren't just sitting in your phone, scrolling, doom scrolling and watching TV or whatever. But even if you are watching TV, are you actually paying attention? Exactly. You're probably on your phone as well. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And the biggest effort that you're going to have to put into this is being aware. Are you aware? And what is it that you're doing throughout your day, throughout your life, throughout this moment, this moment right here? Are you actually paying attention or are you doing something else right now? Or is your brain long gone and you're like, la, 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 already, you know, like, of self-awareness just i'm aware that i'm i'm unaware <laughs> even and that is already a step even that is already a step i'm stuck i'm bored i'm unmotivated nothing seems to be working i you know yeah because you're exhausted you're burned out from operating from the masculine all the time because women are not supposed to do that that's where we get really sick. That's where we get burned out, crash and burn on little steps. 
tiniest of tiniest steps. What is it that you can do today? Just kind of lay in your bed and, and imagine it. What does it look like in your life? Feminine. What's her name? Maybe she has a name. Masculine. Who's that dude? Will I date that dude? Would I date that dude? Absolutely. I would fucking marry my dude. I would marry my dude. My dude inside me is the best dude. <laughs> no, I don't know. But is that helpful if I want to try to find a husband? No, because nobody can measure up to my dude. It's not possible. That's where forget about assumptions and expectations. Okay. What is it that I can do today? Look at me. I put on makeup. I haven't put on makeup in months. I'm so happy I did. Okay. I'm already feeling so feminine. <laughs> the smallest of steps. And like I said, you feel resistance, step back, make that step smaller. And let's open uh, a floor to questions, concerns, anybody wants to comment. Meow. Michelle, you missed some of it. Do you have any questions? Because you kind of drifted up. Um, I think that I probably need like 20 hours of feminine therapy. <laughs> to, to to infuse it back into my life would right? you like, would you like because to i'm i'm always i'm always the masculine mm -hmm. i do my makeup every day maybe that's why i refuse to go on my with my day without putting makeup on even if i'm home even if i never plan on leaving the house makeup is a must mm -hmm. maybe that's my subconscious saying i don't know are you supposed to be putting on makeup because you're a woman? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or, Just remind is, myself. Or is it something that actually makes you feel good about yourself? Oh, yeah. I feel good when I want to have makeup on, of course. Okay. Does it, what kind of good feeling does it give you in that moment when you put it on? What is it like? It makes me feel pretty. It makes me feel... Like I can take on anything. So that's that's like my mask. <laughs> oh, so is it? Okay, I see. Okay. It gives you confidence in other words, mm -hmm. right? So that can be analyzed as both. Technically, you're doing something feminine, although nowadays dudes also put on makeup. So I have to mute. I'm sorry. Okay. Either way, it's that tiny step, that tiny action of putting on makeup. You got to like look into, is this something that you're supposed to do as a woman on a daily basis? Or is it actually making you feel confident and, and feminine and act of self-love? So that's something that uh, she's going to have to look into. But uh, Michelle when she hears me <laughs> mm -hmm. i was gonna say if uh well any of you actually i'm um i'm open to talking privately and maybe help you analyze what is it that you'd like to change and if you want we can we can uh schedule a separate meeting and talk about i, I would talk about um what is it that you'd like to do and, and how to approach it and what does that look like? Just help you kind of guide you on the way to where you want to be. Um, that's it. So just let me know, reach out to me. You you have my, um, you, you know, I'm in the group or some of you have my number. So you can reach out to me and uh, I can help however I can. Yeah. I'm also going to put in the information in the description and when we share the copy of the video. I was also going to say that uh, makeup is not the only, you know, source of feminine energy. Right. Laying out in the sun as well. You know, Michelle, because you, I know you love the beach, so 
that's also a form of nurturing because sun actually nurtures us and feeds us energy. So you accepting it is also a form of nurturing yourself. Yeah. Speaking of accepting, that's that's one difficult thing for many of us. Accepting something, a gift, attention, compliment without giving anything in return is a pure feminine energy. Accepting without giving back. Yeah. I have the worst time with that. I just, <laughs> I have to give twice as much. No. But yes that's, that's because we're not used to it that takes practice that's a big step for many of us so i'm not gonna focus on that because it's very difficult to do when you're not used to it yeah i also wanted to add to that because a lot of us were raised by parents who didn't instill that in us and always taught us to be independent and self-sufficient at all times so now that we are hyper independent we don't know how to accept help or receive help or mm -hmm. gifts or especially if there was a manipulative parent who always gave you stuff or did stuff for you to get something in return so you learn that accepting equals i'm gonna have to reciprocate in some way so mm -hmm. you just don't so take it easy with that also it's it's a difficult one to learn i'm learning yeah yeah and, it's and intuition practicing uh trusting your intuition is also feminine so if you're if you trust your intuition, you're in your feminine. You don't have to put me on makeup on. That is if you know it. <laughs> that, <I don't. laughs> that is if you know what that feels yes. like and looks like because yes. it's it's in the gut. So that's exactly where the anxiety also resides. Yes. So it's kind of like to do to differentiate between intuition mm -hmm. and anxiety. Yes, that's something we also teach. So, right. Yeah. But today we're going to focus on the tiniest, tiniest of things. And what is it that's, what's one tiny, tiny, tiny thing I can improve in my life? Or I'd like to improve in my life today. Today. What is it? Just one thing. I know in my life it's many things, but like. Wash my bottom. Wash my bottom? Yes. <laughs> take a shower if yeah. you if you're not feeling like it just simply washing one toe would be enough exactly. it'll make you feel better well mm -hmm. let's say for me uh, for example like i need to lose almost 50 pounds okay and just that number alone is <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> like I can only imagine how difficult this process is going to be, but it doesn't have to be. It's going to take longer if I do it smaller steps, but it, I'll get there without suffering. <laughs> and that could be, okay, for example, um, if I have a favorite snack that I keep eating, but it actually causes me to uh, gain weight, for example, how about I just toss the first bite? That's my tiny step. Instead of telling me, no, you can't have it. And then sit there and obsess over the the thought that I want it, I want it, but I want it. And I don't want it. No, I'm just going to toss the first bite of it. And that's going to be my tiny, tiny step. That doesn't require much effort. And I still get the reward of eating that snack. It's going to get results very incredibly slowly but it's better than nothing it's better than nothing and i don't get to feel ashamed okay that's yeah. what i mean when i talk about small steps yeah the tiniest steps that's effortless i feel like tossing a first bite out of a out of a cookie is the tiniest step i can do and then maybe in a week, I can toss the first and the last bite. And then before you know it, I'm not even eating the cookie because I tossed out all the bites. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It takes our brain. It consists of three parts. One part is responsible for mindless actions. Just breathing, moving, whatever. 
Another one is respond. The, the amygdala is is the fear. Everything that's like survival, sur survival mode, fight or flight. And then the cortex. That's where your decision making and and you know all that thinking comes in, and the emotions and the feelings. And the goal is to not awaken the what's it, the amygdala. Don't wake it. Don't scare it. Because once that gets activated, nothing helps. You're scared then that gets followed with shame and guilt and all that nonsense. Oh, I, I didn't do anything feminine today. My God, I'm failing. <laughs> what makes you... <laughs> I'm like, no. You took a shower. You want your you body. Were yeah, you, you, you breathed. Yeah, you're good. You know, so like, okay, I'm okay. And then gradually you will increase it based on what is it that you're trying to achieve? What's the goal? What does that look like for you? But you got to kind of figure out what do you want? What the hell do you want? Good question for many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not a small question. It's a huge question. It's a huge question, but keep asking it until you get a clear answer. However, any question you try to you're trying to answer genuinely, genuinely from the inside, not from the external world, what it expects, blah blah blah. It has to be as specific as possible, and you have to keep asking yourself every day until you get to an answer that feels genuine. Yes. Because first, your brain is going to start talking about all the shit that people expect you to do. That this is normal. This is what people want to see. And then it'll get, it'll say. But you got to keep asking. And you have to make that question as specific as possible. Not just, what do you want? Maybe, what do you want? I don't know. Maybe today it will be, what do you want? But I want so many things. So it has to be specific. What's one thing I can change today? Or what's one thing I can improve today? Or what's one thing I want to improve today? One thing. Keep it as simple as possible. Keep it as specific as possible. And keep asking until you generate an answer that's that feels genuine. That doesn't feel like there's a resistance because it's superficial or or uh bullshit think also you might, about yeah you might, the day helps. yeah you might surprise yourself when i was in college one professor was like record yourself speaking just talk and talk and talk and you will be surprised at what comes out after about 15 minutes of talking because first you start with blah, 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 blah. Oh, well, I did this or I did that or I feel angry because blah, 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 blah. and it's all superficial stuff. That, that, that goes for everything. You know, even in my world of design, before I get to the actual legitimate idea, I got to get all the trash out of the way. So I write down everything, everything, everything. And then it comes out. Because you gotta get out of uh, get the trash out, the get you know dust it off. Journaling, yes, journaling is the best thing that you can do for yourself. But again, that requires effort. That requires taking. Okay, if you're okay with writing stuff down, do it for one minute a day. One minute a day, whatever. Write it down. Whatever it is that you feel like you wanna write about especially if it's related to your goal, your main goal, write it down for one minute a day. Next week, add another minute. And then the week after, add another minute. And before you know it, you're journaling for 20, 30 minutes a day, which is like the, the recommended amount of time you're supposed to be writing. Who has time to write for 30 damn minutes? <laughs> Seems excessive. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is why no, I'm not gonna do it because it's like I could be 
eating in those 30 minutes, but whatever. <laughs> I could be doing something else. Start do with a minute. In 30 minutes. <laughs> one minute. That's all you need. Today, you need just one minute. Or you can do a voice recording. But I, you know, I still have that thing where I'm not so hot about my voice. So I'm never going to listen to it because the point of journaling is to go back to it and find patterns, you know, and remind yourself of certain things. So if you're not going to, if you don't like the sound of your voice, you're never going to listen to it. <laughs> so yeah, one minute a day. You're, I don't know, you're in a bathtub, write it down. Just kind of like one minute. Just, eh. For one minute, one minute is really fast if you think about it. So anything, any decision you make of what is it that I want to make or change today, it's going to have to be effortless because if you start feeling oh, resistance, take a step back and make it smaller. Make it smaller, make that step smaller. Yeah, because yeah. your effortless may look different than my effortless. Exactly. Well. So start with what seems effortless to you. It's what I did when I started exercising. I started with very little, like 10, 15 minutes a day. That seemed effortless to me. And then eventually I started adding time. And now 30 minutes is like sometimes effortless, sometimes not so much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, so, you know, I could be like, oh, you know, just like I said, the things you can do to be feminine. It's all like creative stuff and dancing while you're cooking, for example, and and putting on a dress. No, no. Go for massages, get facials. Yeah, yeah. All those things cost money, though, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so you have to get even smaller right. if you feel like those are big. Okay. If you're going for a facial is like a, a dream. Yeah. A dream that will happen eventually, okay. <laughs> you know? So for me today, I was putting on this makeup, yo. Okay. okay. Start with washing your face then. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> self-care. Okay. It's all about that self-care. And then once you have identified your feminine, um, I can talk about what does that look like? When you apply it, you know, when I'm not talking about using your sexuality to attract a dude. However, you can combine your sexuality with your feminine and then boom, miracles happen. Magic happens. Magic. <laughs> because sexual energy is a different energy from all three, from all, from feminine or masculine. It's a creative energy that uh is really powerful when combined with um with everything but let's start small smell anybody has any other questions <laughs> hello <laughs> i just i find it hard to journal i yeah. start out good and then i decline you know yeah. and then i put it in my phone saying okay you know Instead of looking for the notebook mm -hmm. and it's okay. the same thing. All right. So are you trying to like journal all your thoughts of the day all at once? Michelle. Hello. <laughs> hey girl. It's a one way. <laughs> That's why I'm asking. Are you, do you think about what makes you kind of get out of it? Is it that because you're trying to get all the thoughts of the day all um, out all at once? I don't know if it's that or um, committing to it. I know I have a serious issue with commitment. Is it the commitment or is it the consistency? It I, It might be both. Okay. It might be both, but uh, the commitment of, oh my God, and I put this big pound of, big bag of weight on my back and say, I got a journal today. And mm -hmm. then I, you know, 
And the best thing to do is really journal for me, I think, the end of the day, because you're going to journal your your day, right? Mm -hmm. And then it's like, okay, you know, oh, I got to do it. I got to do it. Then whatever. Maybe I forgot. Maybe I had a headache. Whatever. Life. And then I didn't do it. And then it's like, okay, do I make it up tomorrow? Do I do it? You know, fill it in. I get myself in this crazy whirlwind. Mm -hmm. it's, like mm -hmm. a, it's like a big snowball that just mm -hmm. consumes me swallows me up alive well yeah because you turned it into a chore and then mm -hmm. you beat yourself up for not doing it and then you got the feelings of shame and then you kind of get a little angry about it because you didn't do it and you promised yourself you would but you didn't damn it and i yeah. got it. yeah well it's all too familiar daily basis what do you I'm just think? So up I don't do know. From... Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> you go. <laughs> no, no, no. I was going to say, do you actually want to journal? Do, do I have... want to journal? Mm -hmm. I don't really know if I want to journal because for the most part, my day is in survival mode. Work, 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 work. There's, you know, kid, work, work, kid, kid, work, work. What am I going to journal? Oh, two seconds, you know, for two seconds, I thought, is the weather going to be nice tomorrow? Or, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. So why do you think you need to journal to share? What if you, well, you know, maybe are you sharing feelings in it at all? Well, maybe journaling for me would be... Um more of expression mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. maybe if i had more interaction right with adults and stuff rather than just being work you can't talk work with your, your life like that with work maybe just journaling to put that stuff on paper like what thoughts like that but it's hard for me to it's hard for me to put it all together because I'm always just like work. Right. Right. So. And, and survival, like, and being in survival mode. Do you like, I got to make more money. I have to make more money. I have to keep right. going. I have to make more calls. Like yeah. whether the calls lead to anything or not, I still have to feel like I'm doing something to make that happen being productive yeah yeah even if i had even if i've noticed even when i have extra money mm -hmm. i'm still in that survival mode because i don't want to go down to nothing and then be like scrambling oh my god where am i going to get you know money for the bills of course so the purpose of masculine to provide and uh keep providing because yeah. you need that security obviously so when you do get to journal, right? What do you feel afterwards? When you do get to express your feelings and thoughts. I feel better, like the weight is off my shoulders. Okay. So because you got to share, even if there's nobody on the other side, technically, you still have to you, you express thoughts, feelings, whatever it is that you put on on paper. Do you want to keep doing it or do you want well, to find other ways of getting I haven't, I haven't journaled in a long time. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's not like I'm not open to try something else. I heard you say something before about, you know, recording it or whatever. Um, probably not because then when I would listen to it, I'd be like, Oh God, do I really sound like that? Like it would just <laughs> bring me somewhere else. It's yeah. Not <laughs> yeah, exactly. That. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there are right. people. There are people who like the sound of uh, their voice. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I know I'm Gemini, but and there's you know multiple people, but they all. <laughs> Which one was this? <laughs> the reason why I'm asking if you like doing it, how do you feel about it after you've done it, is to see if you actually have any, like, if there's a need for you to do this, you know, because. 
is it something that you're just supposed to do because you don't have like a a dude next to you that you can tell this to or is it actually that's something that gives you that rewarding feeling of expressing yourself of getting thoughts out of unloading your whatever it is that's been bugging you all day onto paper and it actually does bring you this a sense of relief mm -hmm. and you yeah, feel yeah. better afterwards which means it's i would say it's a good habit to have okay now you mentioned that every time you don't do it you kind of feel you know should be like bad about it right like oh i've been meaning to do it and whatever the excuse is what yeah. do you think the smallest step you can take to get closer to writing again smallest small as possible the smallest possible probably would be to find whatever happened in the day that was not work related that made me feel better maybe you know journaling that even if i take my phone and just put a little message like you know like a message like that in there and start out real small like a couple of sentences or something okay to me that sounds like a lot of effort because you have to sit there and think about what is it that you need to filter out do you want to filter it out because i feel like it doesn't matter whether it's about work or not this is what's going on with you today whether it does involve your work or just feelings or your kid or whatever it is it's still part of your life it's still part of you and your emotions and your thoughts so it has the right to be it has the right to exist and it has a right to be analyzed and then put down on paper. So it doesn't really matter what you write about. But what I like about your um, step is a few sentences. I'll do you one better. Make it smaller. Make it three times smaller, that step. Make it even smaller. Pick up a pen. Just a pen, pencil, whatever you, you normally use to write. Maybe designate a pen for just journaling alone. That's all you do today. If you have whatever you use to write, to journal, let's say you have a special notebook for that. If you don't have one, today, designate one. That's all you're doing. You can even write a word on it. My journal. Done. That's the smallest step. Maybe if you feel like it, if it doesn't feel forced, just pay attention to how you're feeling even before you take an action. Even the thought of doing it, if it feels like it's too much, if there's a resistance, no. Take a step back. Or maybe today, just for today. You assign a notebook. If you already have one, pick up a pen, hold it for 20 seconds, 30 seconds with the intention. I'm going to use this pen to journal and then put it down and walk away. Don't write a word. And do that until it becomes easy. And then what else? What's the next step? Maybe I can write a date. Maybe I can write a date. Maybe I can write three words. Whatever feels comfortable with you. You don't have time to write anything today. Just pick up that pen. Whatever it is. Don't feel without any shame or guilt, whatever it is. You have a lot on your plate. You already have a lot on your plate. Feeling bad about doing something for your well-being that's just going to add on top of your whatever you have going on. Mm -hmm. Smallest step possible. Just pay attention to how you feel about that step. Again, any resistance, make that step smaller. 
If you feel okay. like a couple of sentences is not a big deal, write them down. Today is Saturday. Done. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Anybody you. else has any questions or concerns? Because we're out of time. Yeah. And well, anybody wants, wants to share? Yeah, yeah, if anybody wants more, we're in depth or some kind of exploration, guidance, whatever it is that I can possibly help you with, just reach out to me. Send me a hi. We'll figure it out. <laughs> okay? Yay. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Anybody? Everybody's good? Franny? You're quiet. She's asleep. You're away. <laughs> Are you with us? <laughs> Madam Earth. You um, have a <laughs> I've been trying to get my picture on there for the whole time. I don't know what <laughs> happened. And that's okay. Do you have no, anything was, to, to share with us before we go? It More was questions? great and it touched so many the feeling of exhaustion yes. and always feeling like you have to push. And then having, I've had my coach turn around and say, you just live in your masculine energy. And then I look at her and go, and what would you like me to do? Who's going to do it if I don't? So it's just, and I've had a guy tell me, would you act like a girl? Just because I picked up a tire. I had to pick up my tire. Was I going to wait for you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, but it's We manifest to men that will, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. On the side of a highway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so this was great. And I have a problem with journaling too. It's just, I go and then all of a sudden I just stop. Yeah. And I don't know what it is. Well, it's just like any habit. We first get mm -hmm. like that dopamine hit and we're excited mm -hmm. about it and we start doing it. And then we're like, oh my God, I'm doing it. And then in a week, the dopamine plummets and we're like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I was working last night and I said, oh, I'm going to do this. Oh, I'm going to do that. I got up this morning. The only thing I could have managed was a cup of coffee. <laughs> I was like, no, we're not doing anything today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is also mm -hmm. self-care because, you know, if you are constantly doing everything. Yeah. A day of doing nothing is like, oh. Spirit day. That's what that is. Going. Part of me is going, but I could be doing something else. I'm bored. Mm -hmm. It's like my head spinning. I don't know what to do if I'm not doing something. So yeah. I'm trying working on that. Mm. So ask yourself today only one question: What do I want to do? What do really? I want to do? Let's see what comes up. And then pick sure. the one that requires the least effort. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. Because even Thank if you. you put any bit of effort, it will fulfill that need to be productive. Yes. Yep. Oh, God. I wish you all the best. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Madam Ers. <laughs> You're quite welcome. <laughs> Here's a thank bit. you guys this was so great <laughs> thank you so much if uh, everybody is done with their questions and concerns I want to say thank you so much for sharing such an amazing topic with us this was uh, this is very uh, very much needed especially yeah. in our daily life where we do have to survive and work and so many of us are there single or single parents as women and forgetting about our excitements and joys and are really wrapped up in what's the next step and forgetting to rest and take care of ourselves. This was a very important topic um, to discuss and I thank you so much. Uh, details of how to reach Anna uh, and also how to join our Reiki group uh, where we discuss all kinds of things and have all kinds of resources for you will be in a description. And um, you can catch us there. And the copy of this video will be provided there as well. And I hope you have an incredible rest of the weekend. Do something fun. 
have some delicious food. Uh, I don't know, uh, bathe yourself if that's your next step. Buy yourself flowers, put some makeup on, whatever works for you. Or just lay on the couch and binge watch some TV. <laughs> whatever it is. Or play with your kitty cats. There it is. Look at that. Yes. Enjoy. And thank you so much, everybody, for joining us today. Have an incredible weekend. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye.